Sorry for abruptly ending part one, but if you want to see the full video all the way through, you have to be a Patreon, and you can do that at patreon.com backslash sip the tally. The full video is there. But now that you're here for part two, let's get it started. Can Munkin get Lamar Jackson back to MVP form? Let's dive right into it. Welcome back. It's my under center stuff, which I'm cool with it. Missing it up. These two drives we've seen, shotgun under center. It's, we mix it up, and I'm cool with that. Now, this is maybe some of the stuff that he incorporated when he was in Georgia. You see your two tight ends right here. And again, as long as it's a, it's a mix up of stuff, I don't mind. Mark Andrews and and Likely, or Mark Andrews and, and 42. Or Kolar, and it's, I don't mind this sometimes. Sometimes. Be, be, be multiple. I'm just running what I think is like a dive. I don't know if it's duo. I think it's a dive. It was kind of hard for me to, like, even when I wrote my notes, I wrote dive because I couldn't really tell if it was duo or whatnot. Again, look at that. 10 person, 11 personnel, smash to the top side. Tell me Andrews and Likely can't do this on a linebacker. Tell me Andrews and Likely wouldn't feast on a linebacker. Feast. Tonight we dine like kings. Like, I don't know who is 80 OJ Howard, but I think Likely and, and, and Andrews better than OJ Howard. Keep in mind, look, look, let's just let's, let's look at this. This is Jaquiz Rogers. And not, not to crap on Jaquiz Rogers, he can't hold JK's shoestrings. Maybe not even Gus's. But let's just keep going. Because you got to keep linebackers in there because we run it so well. So now you get you get more mismatches. You get more mismatches. I missed the personnel, my bad. So we are in 11 again. Still in 11. One back, one tight end. Look at all that space. Just look at the space. Look at the spacing of the routes. And now, so if this is Lamar and no, he's not confident to throw it to nobody, look at the space he got. Look at the track he got to even to get up field and get out of bounds. Like, he can make that track and not take a hit. It's first down. He, Lamar can step up, run that ball and get out of bounds, and then it's second and five. It's second and five. Or, if he decides to take up and they come up, he can throw this little out route right here to the first down marker. Either one. But look at, because of the spacing. Look at the spacing. And we all, we complain about spacing, but this is kind of what we're going to get into. Complained, not com still complaining. Complained. See how Fitzpatrick ran that, and still he got five yards. Hell, Lamar may score on that. Hey, Brandon, it's two of us in here. You ain't got to put the cue this time. It's just two of us in here. <laughs> um, what do you think our uh, run pass ratio is going to be based on situation? I don't know. B, it's it, I won't know till I see some games from from Monkey when he put all his stuff together. I, I won't know. He, I don't think he's ever had the type of quarterback that Lamar is. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see. Again, in the red zone, we ain't just ramming 15 big bodies in there and you know we running it up the middle. Look, the spread, everything spread out. I love it. I love it. 11 personnel again, but two by two. Outside zone. And again, see how this guy is kind of featured right there? He's not even looking at the quarterback. Somebody, if they get this look, somebody got to keep their eye on this dude. They got to. And then that helps the running back out. Even if he don't run it that much, that's going to help the running back out because now you get numbers on this side of the field. 
Now, the left tackle got to be better than that, though. The left tackle was ass right there. 76, Smith. That was horrible. But again, Linda Bum definitely can do this. You know Linda Bum going to do this. You already know it. And whoever's the left guard should be able to win. Ryan Stanley ain't going to be this bad. Ryan Stanley be kicking this dude, but, you know, Zyla going to win his blocks. And this would be Morgan Moses right now. But again, this cat, he going to have to stay. Or if he goes, that means your free safety down there is one-on-one. -on -one. And if your free safety miss, it's lights out. There was a little hesitation by Marcus on that one. But if that's Lamar, it's a lot of hesitation. Yeah, I agree with you, B. Again, this is what, just after tackle for a loss? 11 personnel again, but now your tight ends down here. You got tight end, receiver, receiver, receiver. Emotion back in. Now you get a traditional, like, two by two close look. So now you can run a bunch of stuff. I think this might be mesh. Uh, is this mesh? Yep. It's mesh. Get your mesh right there. Get your mesh points. And again, nobody's open. Which sometimes this is going to happen. Now you get your quarterback on the move. Now you get your quarterback on the move. Let's look at the options he got. And, and keep in mind, this is, say this is Lamar. Make that throw. Or make that run, same path. One of the two. Or if he break out, make that throw. Make that make that throw. But this first line right here, you, you can run this or throw it. I personally, if I'm him and I get out like this, I'm going to run this and then turn him into a blocker to block that dude. And then Lamar can get up and then score. Because these cats from, from this far won't, won't They might get close to him in the goal line, but they necessarily won't catch him. But again, space is created by the route concepts. By the route concepts. They muddle up the middle of the field, which is what we like to throw. Lamar get out and hurt you on the edge. Well, what we used to like to throw. I mean, correct myself. Used to like to throw. Do what we got here. All right. Three by one tight end down here at the bottom. Got your three receivers at the top. Three actual receivers, not uh, this. the tight ends at the bottom. <laughs> Fade ball. Fade ball. Great catch. Offensive Piato. Mark can do that. Mark has done that. Mark has done that. Especially if you if you come out, we come out to this lineup. Let me back it up a little bit. We come out to this lineup and they're like, oh, okay. And they take a linebacker and put him out here. Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. They bring us a, a safety out here. Maybe a safety got a chance. But if for some reason they bring a linebacker out here in this barbecue chicken, now they turn around and put a corner, you probably got something up here. You probably going to have a mismatch on one of these two dudes. Unless they out here with four corners. If they take a corner and put them over here on Mark, if this is Mark, now you got a mismatch somewhere in there. Let's see what they run. Like a drive type deal. In. Shallow in, deep in. And because of safety in the middle of the field, he went to the fade. But it was offensive pass interference. All right, next drive. What I like about this is, I didn't mean to hit that button. What I like about this is, you got the, the RPO option out here. Watch. I think he runs the, the little bubble thing right here just in case. So if he comes down and he crashes that, instead of handing it off, he'll just pull up and throw the bubble. See it? Now, because 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 Fitzpatrick can see this. He can see this out of his peripherals. He see him taking that. Now they got the edge. They got the edge. But if he was coming to a take the edge, he could just raise up, throw this bubble out here to DJ. You got multiple options. Multiple options. And the thing is, and I said Fitzpatrick can see it. I'm going to tell you when he's looking for this. He has a split second to make this decision. 
right there. Well, I should I couldn't even stop it fast enough. When he his first step, if his first step is outside, he knows he got to hand it off. He knows. And sometimes it's almost a pre snap thing, depending on the the line, way he lined up at. Back in eleven personnel, which I would love for us to just stay in eleven personnel a lot. Andrews will get tired, run likely in there. Tunnel screen, which we, this tunnel screen was horrible, but we ain't been good at screens for three, four years. So we'll see. We'll see if Munkin gets us better at screens. But at least it's in his repertoire. Then you can catch um, Zay Flowers on the tunnel screen. I don't want to see Odell running tunnel screens. I, I, give me Zay or, or Duvernay running tunnel screens. Maybe even Bateman. Not Odell, though. Not saying he can't do it. I just don't want him to do it. He ain't hitch. We got, we, I'm going to just let this run. We got guys that can do this. This is just simple. Simple. But that's a dude right there. 13's a for real dude. <laughs> Again, we can protect that. We can throw hitches. We we got we got receivers now. They just still got to go do it, but we got receivers now. Look at that man look. Well, it was a man laid back the ball for that. Let's see if they stay in man. Yep. Look at that. Look at the, the natural rule be created again. Look how open he is. The natural rule be created again. Now, why he went up top? Oh, he caught it, though. <laughs> To the tight end. So, like Lane Andrews, we know they can make contested catches. But, again, he had the natural rule with the slant. Look, because this slant's open. He could have threw this slant if he wanted to. And if he throw it on time, he'd probably still run it. But he back-shouldered the tight end, and I think this O.J. Howell made a good catch. Made a good catch. This this game has so much stuff that I would love to see us do. That's why I'm just I'm using this one. Cause he had like a totally different game plan the next week. The very next week had a totally different game plan. A lot of spread here, which is I love. And you still can get your running yards out of it. Getting a two high look, Tampa two look. Got the end cuts. That's underneath the Tampa two look. That end right there, underneath the Tampa two. And then that's holding the underneath stuff. I like it. I like it. Just all you're doing is hoping they bite up on the underneath stuff and you're throwing right behind them. And if he sinks out of there to, to be up under this dig, then you still got the inside throw to the to the hitch route. Simple concept, simple read. Ball comes out. You throw it on time, you, you get some yak. Throw it on time, you get yak. It's just that simple. They're going to bite up on the little hitch or whatever it is. He throw it right behind it. Mike Evans ran the route shallow enough to not to run into the, the linebacker dropping out for Tampa 2. Simple. Ball out. Lamar ain't got to think. 13 seconds to see who's going to be open. Cats getting open right then. And they and it's not getting open because they had this crazy route. It's the concept. All right, now, again, nobody's open, which is fine. Sometimes the defense is going to have it covered or they're going to read it wrong. But my thing is, look at the spacing. A receiver here, a receiver here, a receiver here, a receiver here. Look at the spacing. We ain't got four guys in this one spot right here. Now, and now, with us having spacing, because you got five guys out. You got one, two, three, four, five. Here go your check downs. Here go your deeper routes. With all this spacing and them being in zone, look at the room he got to, to run and get out of there. Look at that. That's That's the key. That's the, he can get up, he can get out of there. And if he gets out and then he starts to come up, you know, maybe something else comes open. But it's because of spacing, the quarterback has room to do stuff and to make decisions and protect himself. He can get out of here and get, and then when get ready, to get, when the defender comes up, just step out of bounds. Step out of bounds. You done got about five yards. But we know how dynamic our guy is. He can get out of here and bust a spin move and be in the end zone or something. But because of the spacing, it's promising. And this is 2018, so I know he's got more stuff in the in his toolbox right now. But look at the spacing right there. 
Then you got Fitzpatrick running for yards. And that's how I want Lamar to get his run yards on stuff like that. Pass, pass plays that either concept didn't work or they just recovered. Get your yards like that. Because he started right, looked left, wasn't covered, got out. But because of spacing, he can make decisions. He ain't got 16 people running at him. Because look, missed it by, damn, I just missed it. Watch the Mario, I think it's the Mario Day, 56. I think it's the Mario. He got to make a decision. All right, right here. If he wants to just haul butt and try to get the QB, then you leave this tight end open. So you got to kind of slow play this guy to see what the quarterback going to do. But the whole time you slow playing and see what's going to happen, Lamar run a, a full zero down your throat. See how he kind of he had to kind of wait and see what was going to happen. Every every step you hesitate, just just think about it. this was eight eight be right here by right now. That's where he'd be. He wouldn't be back here. He'd be right on this line and possibly getting down these hashes. All right, next one. Again, I, I, use your car here. I'm fine with it. Run power, run counter, run ISO. I'm cool with it. Just mix it up. It runs the ISO right here. That don't work, but I'm cool with mixing it up. Now you get a little offset. Again, I'm cool with Ricard doing this too. Just don't, don't be comfortable with it. Just don't be comfortable with it. But I like, watch how crazy this is. Right now, it looks like you're running some kind of run, fullback to the flats, which is what a lot of people do. And you think you, you're ready for it because you're a fake to the tailback running the fullback in the flats. But this cat got, this is a screen to 32. Watch this. This is a screen to Jaquiz Rogers. How inventive is that? I know it didn't really work, but still, how inventive is to that? Because most people, the tendency is to, to, to fake the stretch and maybe hit the fullback or something in the flats. Well, they ran the fullback in the flats just to create room for the screen to the tailback. Again, he, he's running, shouldn't be running, but he is. And just think about, it's not run plays. It's not, you got empty right here. Now, he don't really have pressure. He just got to open. If he just step up and wait a second, he'll be good. If he step up, wait a second, he should be good. Fitzpatrick got antsy feet. But again, look at the protection. Look at the, now, this is kind of bunched up. It's empty in the red zone. This is kind of bunched up. But you're trying to get a sit down, trying to get two deeper routes, and then your check down's over here. So, you really, you, it ain't bunched up. It ain't. It just ain't happened yet. It ain't developed yet. Because you got you had you had the dig coming here. You had Mike running the deep post, which that's what should have been thrown because he had inside leverage. But Lamar wants to make sure he's a thrower, so he ain't going to just take off running just for the sake of it. He was going to let that deep post develop. See if we see Mike Evans at the top left come over. At the top left of our screen. Let's see if we see Mike Evans come over. Great blocking. Sit down right there in front of him. is taken, taken away from him, which is fine. Let's see. Just patient. Look at Mike. Just be. Just set your feet. Reset your feet. You got six points right there. Because Marcus is going there. Reset your feet. You got six points. Don't be so into the run. Especially when you Fitzpatrick. Missed a touchdown on that one, Ryan. Cut, cut, cut. This concludes part two. We'll give you part three Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. Thank you guys for coming out. I mean, hey, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me for a hot 19-ish minutes. I appreciate y'all. See you Wednesday morning. Don't forget about the Daily Show.